previously on McFly Angler. I hate to say this, but I'm hearing thunder. I saw a lightning strike at the top of the mountain. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down. I'm going to forgo fishing for today. And tomorrow morning, super early, I'm going to wake up right at dawn. I'm going to start making the hike up this way. Right after breakfast, of course. Well, good morning, everyone. So, I woke up pretty early. It was actually the sun wasn't even out. And uh, got the fire started and made my breakfast so I can get an early start on fishing. I think it's about 5.30 right now in the morning. I was up at 4.30. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna head up after I eat. I'm gonna head up and go try to catch some trout for a little while. Got to be out of here by 12, and then once I'm out, um, I mean, I'll pack up everything, and then I'll head over and try to do some fishing for <clears throat> for pike and bass on the lake. So I'm off fishing, and uh, brought my five weight. The very top of this mountain, it's about an hour and a, a half hike, I think, hour and a half. There's a few little pools where I can. Uh, fish this uh, river here that is flowing really fast right now. Long hike up there. I made it about three quarters of the way yesterday and it started thundering and lightning so hopefully it looks like a clear day so hopefully it'll be all right. There's a little sign-in point here where I gotta sign my name in just in case I get lost. They know when I'm coming back. I gotta be out of here by 12, it's seven. So, I gotta try to make it up quick. I'm pretty tired from yesterday, but we'll see. All right, so I got a little warm, took off the jacket, back on the hike. I've only been going for like 10 minutes, <clears throat> 10 minutes and uh, so I got a long ways. I was getting a little warm. By this point, I had been hiking for about a half hour. And this is where I turned back the day before. Now, I'm on the top of the mountain where I saw the lightning strike the night before. Finally, down to the river, and I found a promising pool. I fished it for a few minutes, but I had trouble getting a good cast. Then I got stuck on a branch. So I retied and started looking for more spots. I tried multiple spots, all with no success. I didn't film them all, 
because I was worried about my camera's battery. It's tough to find spots to fish there. It really is not good for fishing right now. Water's moving really fast. And I tried a few spots, there's just no fish, at least that I saw. They're probably there, but I wasn't catching them. When I arrived back down the mountain, I had a bit of extra time, so I decided to explore the small creek that dumped into the raging river. It was a little bit of bushwhacking to follow the creek. Some parts much more than I'm showing here. In fact, this was a rather easy part. Fire ant. This creek was really nice, lots of great spots to fish. However, I still wasn't seeing or hooking any fish. And then finally, a fish hit my fly. However, he hit short, and I never got a good hook set on him. Well, after fishing till about 11 o'clock, I decided I needed to head back to camp. I had to check out by 12 and needed to pack everything up. I decided to try my hand at pike and bass fishing again on the lake. It really is beautiful here. Alright guys, I'm giving it one last try here at the dam. So I tried multiple places all day. I didn't film at all. Sorry, it's not gonna be on camera. I'm just trying to see if I can find a spot that there's fish. And I was here before, and I saw fish, and I saw one guy pull one in, so. I'm gonna try this before I head home. It's the last stop. If I don't get something in about 20 minutes, I'm heading home. It was so windy that it almost knocked my camera over. 
So I decided I had enough. Well guys, it wasn't the most productive day. Or two days. It wasn't productive at all. Didn't catch a single fish. I hooked one trout. So, I hear this is a decent lake, but you gotta, I hear you gotta have a boat. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to some locals and uh, at the fly shop or whatever and see if I can't figure out what to do for the next time. And maybe I can come back, do another basically round two and catch, uh, or uh, go camp and try to see if I can't catch fish. So the pike, I missed the pike by like a week. I found out earlier today that the pike were uh, spawning about a week to two weeks ago and they, they already took off to the deep. So there's kind of slim chance of catching them offshore. Thanks for watching guys. Sorry I wasn't so, uh, so many fish, but it was a blast camping and beautiful scenery and I hope you guys enjoyed that. So I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Now you guys go catch some fish.